Paul O'Neill retired after the 2001 World Series, and he has never been forgotten by Yankee fans or the Yankee organization. And today he becomes part of forever. His number 21 retired. It will never be worn by another New York Yankees. Some of his world champion teammates came out, a big crowd as well, chanting his name. And Paul O'Neill had a smile on his face that you could read by him. Nestor Cortez, his 23rd start, 9 and 4, 2.74 ERA. We'll take a look at a quick scattering report on Nestor Cortez, a game of adjustments. He went through a tough stretch in the middle of the year. They were sitting on his inside cutter. He has since thrown it back door, and the results are much better. Cortez ready, Guriel ready. That's ripped into right center field, and it is caught by Marwin Gonzalez taking an extra base hit away from Guriel. Well, Marwin Gonzalez getting a start today with the, being a switch hitter to be able to hit from the left side and playing right field, and he makes a great defensive play to start this one. So here's Alejandro Kirk. Round ball to Glaber Torres, gobbles it up over the first, a nice easy. Breezy 1 2 3 inning for Nesta Cortez and the Yankees coming to bat. Alec Manoa will get the start, his 24th start of the season. That ties in with Jose Barrios for the team lead. Sparkling numbers for Manoa in those 23 starts. ERA outstanding, but they get even better against the Yankees, facing the Yankees for the fourth time this sixth, this season, sixth time in his career. He loves pitching in Yankee Stadium. Look at that slider and a swing and a miss, one down. Four outfielders for Rizzo. That one is driven to right field. That ball is off the wall. Four man outfield played out there by Espinal gets it into second and Rizzo just missed a home run. Well here is LeMahieu with Judge at first just missed his 29th home run. Runner goes and a perfect hit and run through the vacated hole. Bichette was going to cover throw to third it gets by everybody. Will that allow Rizzo to score? Here he comes. He will score. One nothing Yankees. Get on the board. Get an early lead. Rizzo on the move. Ground ball to short. It's going to be a base hit. Guriel comes up with it. The throw offline. Chapman can't come up with it. Manoa not backing up, and the Yankees will take a run any way they can get it. The way things have been going lately. Love the reactions. Here we go. Three two. And he got him. Swing and a miss at a fastball. Second strike out of the inning for Manoa, but an unearned run gives the Yankees a one to nothing lead. Bobuchet, the 2 2, is caught on a miss. Breaking ball struck him out. One away. Two down. And here is Chapman. Strike three. Chapman down looking. Six up, six down for Nesta Cortez, but at the bottom of the second. The Blue Jays down one to nothing. Bottom of the second. Oswaldo Cabrera, the rookie, will lead it off for the Yankees. Lifts a fly ball to left field to his left with lots of room and now drifting back a bit. Guriel's there. One down. Two up and two down here in the second. Jose Trevino the batter. And the one two again. And he got him. Blew a fastball by him at 95. Third strike out of the afternoon for Manoa. One to nothing Yankees at the end of two. Yankees one, Blue Jays nothing. Wood Merrifield, Santiago Espinal, Jackie Bradley Jr. coming to the plate. One one. Hit in the air out towards right center field. Backing up Hicks. To the warning track, looks at the wall, and it is off the top of the fence, and it bounces over. Bounces on the wall twice and over. And Whit Merrifield has his first home run as a Blue Jay. It took a while before it became clear which way it was going to go, but for the Blue Jays, it winds up on the right side of the fence, and this game is tied. Now back to the top of the order, and here is Lourdes Goriel. Stroke right to the second baseman Torres and that'll do it. Very odd home run by Whit Merrifield ties the game at one as we go to the bottom of the third. Here's Marwin Gonzalez to lead it off against Alec Fanoa. Another slider back door. Strike three called. One, two, three. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Big ovation for a big man, Aaron Judge. And he got him. Swing and a miss. Five strikeouts now for Manoa. The Rizzo walk that pushes Benny to second and brings up LeMay here. Hit sharply and pass Bichette into left field. Benintendi coming home. Here's the throw. It's not in time. It's an RBI single for LeMayu, and it's 2-1 Yankees. Somehow you have to figure out a way to keep that ball on the infield. You can't olay that. You've got to knock that ball down. Here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to lead it off for Toronto. 
Long run for Rizzo. And he makes the play. Anthony Rizzo for out number one. Well, this crowd showing their appreciation for the Yankees defensively. Anthony Rizzo going back, takes a look at the wall right over his shoulder, and then right up on that wall. So now the runners are running. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Hernandez from second, Bichette from first. Hit sharply and grabbed by LeMahieu across the diamond. And Chapman loses the battle to Cortez. Well, two way and to the top of the order. And here is. Lourdes Goriel. That one's popped up right field. Marwin Gonzalez makes the play, and that will do it. The end of four and a half. We're halfway through. It's 2 1 Yanks. Well, now here's Judge. He's 0 for 2. And he gets pumped. And Judge thinks that that was on purpose with first base open. Boy, that would be some heavyweight battle. He's waving the team back, and Garrett Cole. Is barking at Manoa as well. And now Judge is walking back toward Manoa, and all things seem civil. But with first base open, it, it begs to wonder. LeMahieu, he's two for two, first and third. Line to short and right at Bichette, and Manoa gets out of it. 0 oh, 2. Has cut on him, missed. He swung on a pitch that is about eye high. Way up there. Well, there's one away. There's a 2 2 coming to Kirk. Struck him out swinging. Cutter in. Cortez 2 2. Swing and a miss. He strikes out the side. Six innings, three runs, one hit, or three hits and one run. That is a big body performance by Nestor Cortez. Oswaldo started the second and the fourth. And he rings up Cabrera for strikeout number seven. 1 2. Swing and a miss. Got him with a slider down and in. Hicks goes down. He's frustrated. Slams the batting helmet off to the left side of the batter's box. Back to back strikeouts for Manoa. He's fired six frames in New York. Aaron Boone wants his left hander out of the bullpen when Kevin Biggio was announced as the pinch hitter. The Blue Jays then counter and bring up George Springer. The tying run in scoring position. The and Springer lines one into left. A base hit. So it pays off right away, but he hit it so hard, and now the throw gets away, but it is backed up. Springer hit it so hard that Chapman can't score. So now the bases are loaded with one out and a huge spot for Jackie Bradley Jr. And he walked him to force in a run and tie the game. So the bases loaded one out, and here is Guriel. And the 1-1. One -one. Ground it to third. They'll come home for one. On to first. Not in time. Bases remain loaded for Vlad Guerrero. Hit sharply and booted by Cabrera. The long throw, and they get Guerrero for the final out. So the Yankees take a deep breath as Trevino gets the ground ball. The Blue Jays leave the bases loaded, although they do score one run to tie the game. So the Yankees have two cracks at it with Benintendi and Judd. Benintendi one for two and a walk. Swung on, there it goes. Deep right, it is high. It is far. Oh, and it's gone. He hit his first home run. It couldn't have come at a better time. Benny. Oh, multa Benny. In the right field seats. And that's raining Benny's from heaven. And the Yankees now take a 4 2 lead. And now the Blue Jays down to the final out. Here's Jackie Bradley Jr. Hit sharply to second. Torres. And the Yankees win 4 to 2.